What does financial wellbeing mean to you? Knowing where I stand each day or, or where I'm going, yep. um, where I want to be in a few years time, uh, whether I've got the money to cover off things for the next few months. Um, I'm self-employed so you know cash flow can be up, down, round and round. So just trying to have a, a buffer in place for myself um, that I know will get me through a period of time. Knowing what you've got coming up and being able to cover it, I think for most people, including myself, that, that's a, a feeling that you want to know that you, you sort of covered as far as those things go. It doesn't matter whether they're sort of earning 30 or 40 grand a year or two or three hundred thousand dollars a year, people adjust to the income they earn and they can get themselves in a pickle very quickly on either side of that um, spectrum. So yeah, it's just about being able to, I think, acknowledge that it's pretty normal to have um, some sort of financial stress um, or have financial goals that you want to achieve and you should just sit down and have a, a chat to someone and, and do something about it before it gets to the point where you're drowning I suppose. What would you say some of the pitfalls are that people fall into around, around their finances? Oh mate, most Australians just bury their heads in the sand. I, I sit there uh, across the table from people every day and say who's your super with and how much do you have? They look at me with you know, lost eyes and scratch their head and say, I don't know, mate. You know, people get behind in, in, in debt. It's quite often credit card fueled and, you know, buying the latest Mercedes when, you know, you know you shouldn't be having the latest Mercedes, but, <laughs> but the, uh, the car yard sells it to you. Um, and just not taking the time to try and actually put a, an idea, just some form of simple plan in place to go, you know, here's where I want to go. People, you know, in the city would ever go up, after work on a Friday night, they'll start having a few drinks. Um, you know, drinks are very expensive in the city. They have, you know, get to the point where they sort of probably care less about money. And it's so easy to spend money now compared to probably what it was 10 years ago. You just get out the card, you pay pass it. Next thing you know, um, you know, a lot of my mates, for example, they don't mind a punt. So you sort of had, had a few beers, then you get out, you know, whatever. Yeah. betting app that there is at the time, then you might have a few bets and then next thing you know it's one in the morning, you're getting a cab home, you're calling past a takeaway joint and what was supposed to be $20 worth of drinks with your friends turns into 300 on the credit card. It's just being aware from the sounds of it, you know, it's actually being aware of the stuff and, and, and giving it a, a little bit of time because it's not rocket science, you know, it's just doing these little simple things. So Kylie, what do you think is a good starting point for people? Um, being prepared but also living within your means. Mm. Um, so knowing how much you have to spend on what and being able to enjoy it in some situations, but put away what you need to put away. Knowing where you stand, knowing what you can and can't afford to do, what you need to put away for the future. Organise a bloody half an hour smoko meeting with someone like myself. Come out and have a quick chat, get an understanding of where you are. Um, try to do it before the world starts falling apart. Um, just like mental or physical health, if you wait till you're in a crisis mode, it can be difficult for the advisor or, or the professional to help you get out. Um, so trying to get there before, you know, it all falls apart. There isn't too much that we haven't seen at least a dozen times because everyone thinks their situation is very different and everyone's is, but there's lots of common themes. I reckon the big thing is turning intention into reality. Everyone has the intention to do this. I'll do it, I'll get round to it, next thing you're 50. You know, it's, it's actually, turn, just take that 30, 30 minutes to do it yeah. and have that chat. That's and exactly am I right saying you don't, have, you, don't have, you don't have to go move forward? There's no, once you have that chat, you can, you can go, no thanks. You know, that's, it's, that's the problem, that's the thing. You're not locked into anything by having the chat. You just actually, it's like taking a temperature check of where you're at. So thank you so much for joining us on Unpack. I think some really, great messages today on something that isn't spoken about enough. And what I take away is keep it simple. You know, pull your head out of the sand, have a chat with someone and, and really take the temperature of your financial well-being so none of your buckets are empty. 